Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. So I have to tell you, a couple years ago on the weekends, I went to Sac State to do a segment on wheelchair basketball, and I met Joe with the Sac Rolling Kings. I'm just now finding out that that was their first time competing in tournaments as the Sac Rolling Kings. They are now ranked number two in the nation. You guys, they are trying to get to Kentucky. They need your help. That is for their national competition. Now, a Joe, a Paralympian, which should not be surprising as you see him work out. Now, this is Coach Miyoko, who is, by the way, Joe's wife. And he just let me know that she is the only female coach to ever crack the top five. And not to mention, if they are to go on and to be number one in the nation, she will be making history in this sport. They just recently made history in the sport. You must have been panicked. This was in San Diego. What happened? Well, we um, made it all the way to the championship game, and we played the number one team in the country at the time, which is the Dallas Mavericks. And it was an amazing game. It ended up going into triple overtime, um, which was an absolute just kind of panic mode of, of overtime after overtime. But we ended up winning 114 to 110, which was the most points ever scored in an NWBA game, which is kind of unheard of because 214 points in you know what was 40 minutes of regulation and then 15 minutes of overtime is a lot of points for it. <laughs> yeah, and so they have started incorporating CrossFit, which I was nervous. I said, well, I don't want the other wheelchair teams to see this because they're going to try and steal our secret, <laughs> but it's kind of too late for them. You guys started this last right. year, several months ago. Yeah. How has CrossFit really helped them with the sport? <clears throat> so we, I absolutely have to thank CrossFit Davis for giving us a home to work out. Um, Matt and Kirsten Predry have been these guys' trainers. They've come in and we do weekly team workouts, and then these guys have access to the gym throughout the week. It's really been a great opportunity for them to do some cross training um, and do things that they normally wouldn't be doing in their chair. But all of these skills and, and strengths and things like that are transferable to, the, to their basketball. Yeah, these are legitimate athletes, you guys. So I introduced you to Joe. This is Ryan, who's doing these push ups right here. We have Mike over here uh, with the medicine ball. Mike, by the way, lost 50 pounds. This is just incredible. And this is Max here. Uh, with the dumbbells, but we need your help, you guys, because it's going to cost about $900 or so per person. And don't forget, they got to lug all this equipment over there to Kentucky. If you want to help, two ways. You can search uh, Stack Roland Kings on Facebook. They have a Facebook page, plus you can see the video of that triple overtime. Yeah. If you've never seen these games, let me tell you, it is shocking. You forget that they are in a wheelchair. They are incredible athletes. Other other website is Cap City AAF, is that yes. right? Dot org. Okay, perfect. Yeah. CapCityAAF.org. There's a place for you to go on there and donate again about nine hundred dollars per person. They need to send fifteen people over to their Kentucky in mid April to take home that championship. Yeah. Let Dallas be number one. It's all about Sacramento. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. I, I highly recommend you go to the website and watch the it.